Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn data-driven testing using the JSON. So let's begin. In our previous tutorials, we learned that how we can make our test data-driven using the Excel and CSV. So if you haven't watched that, just go and watch those videos if you want to make your test data-driven using Excel and CSV. But in case if you want to make your test data-driven using a JSON file, then how you can do it? So so let me go here and create one new Python file and I'm naming it as data driven JSON. I have already created one JSON file and let me show you. So this is dot JSON and it contains the three different users, username and password. So this is how the JSON looks like. And even let me show you in my desktop folder as well. So let me go to my folder here and let me go to this one. And here you will find this test data dot JSON. So if you double click on this one, so it will open in the ID as well. I have used studio code, but if you want to open it, this file into some other tool so you can just right click on this one and then open with and you can open with any of these okay so again uh, we, we are using source demo for this one and what i need to do is that i will be copying my code so let me close this one and let me copy this complete code from here and paste it here and here we don't need the CSV because now we need to work with the JSON. So in order to work with the JSON, we need to import a JSON library here. Okay. And we don't need all this code here. Let me remove this code from here. Now what we need to do is that we need to, you know, import the JSON file. We need to have, we need to open this file so that we can Traverse through this one and we can actually work with this one. So loop is already there. So we don't need to, uh, you know, write a loop. So in order to understand how this loop is working, so you can refer to web previous tutorials here. Okay. Now, uh, in order to load the test data from JSON, what we need to do is that we need, first we need to import a JSON, right? And simply import and just go with this. And after this, we need to have this file. So this is really simple here with open and we need to provide a file name here with the complete extension. So the file name is test data and this is the JSON and this is inside my folder. Okay. And once you open this, you need to provide R in the readable mode as file and now you need to load this json file now to load this file simply let me create test underscore data which actually i'm using in my loop so because i need to loop into the file test data is equals to json dot load and we need to provide the file and that's it now the rest, rest of the code is simple because we are just looping here. We are opening, uh, we are just, you know, creating a driver for the Chrome. We are maximizing the window. We are going to this particular website. We are waiting for five seconds. Then we are identifying the username field, providing the data. But here the challenge here is that we might need to provide data in such a way that it will pick up from the file. Okay, so here, if you let me show you. So when we are working with the CSV, we provided this data, then data contains this username and password field. And when we were working with the Excel, so let me open this one. So you see that we were, we were just providing the variable here. And we know why we did this actually. So let me go here and now simply run this one and see if it is working or not 
it will not work you will find the error and I'll, and then i will show you what is the error and, and how we need to fix that error though we have this json file and uh, it opened the browser but it will not work the username and password and it will throw some exception right and it says here that string indices must be integers not string okay now what is the problem here so problem here is that if i go here and open this my test data.json so i have users so inside the users i have these username and password right so i need to tell my code that you need to traverse into users so this is a hierarchy just go here inside this you need to do inside this part you need to do okay and simply what i'll do is that let me go here and for the loop here basically i will tell my loop that you need to traverse or loop or iterate into my users okay and i think we are good to go but let me confirm yeah so users and here we have the users now let's run this one and this time it should work and it should provide the username and password and login to the system so you see that uh, it's logged in with the first user then again it will open and log in with another user then it will open and log in with the third user here as well right so apparently uh, while recording it's not showing that it's providing the username but it's actually providing the username and password so you don't need to worry about this thing it's actually providing the username and password now it will be passing the third user because in our file it contains the three users so it will provide the user so it's just a glitch in recording so you don't need to worry sometimes it shows that we have provided the username and password but in some cases it doesn't while recording session but it's actually making your test data driven and it's logging every time with the new user. So that's how uh, you can actually uh, use the JSON file as a source when you are working with the data driven testing with the Selenium. Right? So again, uh, that's pretty much easy. Let me summarize this one. You need to import the JSON and then you need to open the file in the read mode and then you need to load this file. Once you load this file, and here we need to go with the users because in our JSON file, these users are inside this users basically. Okay, so that's why we are looping through test data this file, and inside this file we are saying that we need to traverse it to from the users. Then we are using um, the driver, Chrome driver, maximum in the window, going to this website, waiting for five seconds. Then we are just going to username field, providing the username, the password, just keeping on login button and then finally we are quitting the driver so that was pretty much uh, easy and in our future tutorials when we actually work on the frameworks so then at that point of time i will show you how you can make your test data driven because this is a very linear script and but at least you need to understand how you can work with the json data source csv data source and the excel data source if you are working with the data driven testing Thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial